All right, we're going to show you how to install the K9000 onto this chopper. First, we got to take off the skid shoes, and then we're going to disconnect the PTO, and then we're going to dis take off the brackets for the auto connect PTO. Let's get to it. All right, first thing, we got to take off these skid, the skid shoes. There's six bolts. They're connected with a lock, or lock bolt, and we just got to take them off. All right, first thing we're going to do is take the shield off, then we're going to take the PTO off the auto connect, and then we're going to take this bracket off that holds the auto connect PTO on. So to do this, you need a couple of 18 millimeter bolt wrench, and then you need a socket, and then also a, or a flathead screwdriver. All right, let's do this. Take that off, you can put that up there, and you can take this PTO off. <laughs> put that on the ground. All right, now you grab your 18 millimeter wrenches and your socket. All right, to take this bracket off, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts that we gotta take off. Recommended to use a breaker bar. Uh, as these are super tight coming from Germany. Let's try this one first. go that is off eight bolts later and we are set move this aside and store it in a safe place once you have your shipping skids off we suggest to raise it up like this make sure your forks aren't too far past and then we can drop down the feeder house and then you can come pick it up then you take off the auto connect these PTO There's two holes right here, one on this side, one on this side, and we put them right in these knobs. Okay, after we have the adapter on, take your latch off and you put it back on, and then it straps the adapter right onto the feeder house. After you have the adapter hooked up, <coughs> we gotta put on this K8000DL that you get with your adapter. Hook it up to the drive and the drive on the adapter and you're set. All right, once you connected the PTO to the adapter, we are set. So we're gonna turn it on and give her a whirl.
done hooking up the Koima adapter, the John Deere cutter doesn't recognize the Koima adapter. So you got to go into the menu button, choose the header, and use default settings. You just want to click that button. That will allow you to uh, function everything the way you want. You also want to run, it will also be set at 480 RPM, header RPM. We like to uh, almost run at full throttle at 800, 750 to 800. Most of the time we grind your corn around right, right, right there, as fast as possible. So, pretty easy if you guys, you guys know your cutter, so. But don't run at 480 RPM, it'll probably be a little too slow for you. All right, for this, for video purposes, we connected the standard gearbox or standard PTO that is on your 9,000, 8,000 series cutters, and we're going to show you why you need to buy a PTO from us. When you raise it all the way, you can see this guard is fully extended and that's, if we put it back down, it's just going to crush the guard. So that's why we send you a new PTO. Okay, I'm going to show you a little uh, something why we don't use the auto PTO. Why we go through the, the work of taking it off. First of all, where the auto PTO is located on a deer, is our gearbox would have to drop down six inches and would have to go ahead. So not only would we almost be in the, on the ground right now with the head angle, we would have to change the corn head angle from 17 degrees, almost 30. So we're running at 17 degrees, we would have to change your header to this. It's not really ideal when you want to do some very aggressive grinding ear corn. So we ask you guys, take the auto PTO off. We showed you a video, it takes like seven, eight minutes. Take your PTO off, use the Koima PTO, and use it without the auto PTO. Um, that gives you the better header angle and keeps this and just um, out of the dirt. So, in the small.